Hello, my name is Latrice Burleson. I am a distribution specialist at the Texas Education Agency in the Instructional Materials Division. I will be going over instructions on how to fill out your allotment and TEAK certification. As stated in the Texas Administrative Code, Chapter 66.1305, the allotment and TEAK certification is an annual requirement. Each year, school districts and charter schools must submit a new allotment and TEAC certification before ordering materials or requesting funds for the upcoming school year. The first item on your certification checklist is in reference to the Texas Education Code Chapter 28.002. The district superintendent, along with the local board of trustees, are required to certify that the district has instructional materials that cover all elements of the essential knowledge and skills of required curriculum other than physical education for each grade level as required in Texas Education Code. Continuing on with your certification checklist, the certification must be presented to the local board of trustees in a public meeting. The certification is applicable both to state adopted instructional materials as well as to non-adopted instructional materials. Allotment funds are only used for expenses allowable by Texas Education Code Chapter 31, Section 0211. The certification process consists of three easy steps. First, you will log into the EMAT system and fill out the allotment antiques certification. Secondly, you will take it to your local board for approval. Once you have obtained all proper signatures, you will then scan and email the signed form to the Instructional Materials Division. The first step in creating the Allotment and TEAC certification in the EMAT system is to click on the Allotment and TEAC certification 2019-20 link that is on the district start page located in the EMAT box. Once you are on the Allotment and TEAC certification screen, the first section you will need to look at is the Subject Area Certification section. In this section, you will click each box in the Check to Certify column to select the subject areas your district or charter school offers. The next section you are going to look at is the Grade Level Certification section. In this section, you're going to click each box in the Check to Certify column to select the grade levels taught at your school district or charter school. Once you have done that, you will click Save. After clicking Save, you will need to scroll to the top of the page and click View Print Allotment and TEAC Certification 2019-20 to view and print the form as a PDF document. Be sure to allow pop-ups on your computer since the document will open in a new window. If any of the required subject area boxes do not have a check mark, you will receive an error message. If you receive this message, click OK, then go back and check all of the required boxes. Click Save, then click View Print Allotment and TEAC Certification 2019-20. This is a sample form of how the Allotment and TEAC Certification should look once you print it. Signatures from the superintendent, board president, and board secretary are required before the form can be accepted. Once you have obtained all three required signatures, you will scan the signed certification document and email it to instructional.materials at tea.texas.gov with the following subject line, your district name certification. Example, Anywhere ISD Certification. When your allotment and TEAC certification is received, TEA staff will update EMAT to reflect the receipt. Once all prerequisites are complete, your district can place orders and request disbursements in EMAT. Other prerequisites that districts are responsible for include updating your district's contacts, shipping addresses, and providing three sets of summer ship dates. Thank you for your time today. If you have any questions, please contact the Instructional Materials Division at 512-463-9601 
or you can email us at instructional.materials at tea.texas.gov.